Hello everyone, I've got a brand new subscription box to open today. This is the Shadow Box by Death Row Designs. Uh, the major difference between this box and all the others is that all the items are made by the same creator. Well, creators. And because it's all by DRD, we know everything will be of the highest quality, as usual. So here's the webpage where you can get all the information for it. I'll leave a link in the description. The DRD Shadow Box is a monthly subscription box that combines the mystery of getting something new and unknown once a month with a bonus reward for purchasing a full series. Every Shadow Box contains 12 items created by Death Row Designs. Every series is 6 months or 6 Shadow Boxes. At the end of a series, the bonus reward becomes available to anyone who has received or purchased every box in the series. The Shadow Box contains 12 products, 6 light or quote-unquote normal products, and the other six are their dark or quote-unquote abnormal counterparts or shadows. These items are not simple recolors. Every shadow has something unique about it, ensuring you are receiving 12 unique items every month. Although every box stands on its own and can be used with or without the other months, a full series of six will reward you with not one, but two buildings at the end of the series. A light building and its dark counterpart, made specifically for that series, can be redeemed at no extra charge. And here we have the buying options. If you order it in advance, so that would be before the first of the month, and it's the discount price of 1800 lindens. If you'd rather wait until after the first to get it, then it's the full price of 2800 lindens. You can also gift it to someone else, and the same prices apply. So let's get unboxing, shall we? Wow, as you can see, even the box itself is extremely well made. Can't wait to see what's inside. So, unlike most subscription boxes, you open the contents the old-fashioned way, instead of left-clicking it and it all automatically sending it to you in the individual boxes. So you do the right-click and unpack. So let's start with the china cabinet. Looks pretty. I do prefer the rustic look, where it's slightly worn. I think the reason why that kind of style is so popular in SL is because when things look absolutely immaculate, even when they're well made, it kind of lacks a certain realism. Where items like this, where the paint is cracked and chipped, it certainly adds to the realism and there's quite a charm to it as well. And now the velvet couch. Move it a little, get that out of the way. Yep, I like that. I'll have to play with the animations later, given the test. Next, the armchair. Looking good! As usual, everything is copy, so you can have more than just one out if you choose. What I really do like about this series is everything's all in one folder. 
Unlike most subscription boxes where everything is made by different content creators, so you don't have to unbox every single item. So it saves a lot of that precious time. Next we have the clock shelf. DRD are certainly right by saying everything can work together. It all looks like all the furniture could be found in the same room. Next up, the coffee table. And the Phoenixes are wanting to get in on the action. Lamia, Panpo, get out of the way! Now we have the floor lamp. Nice detail work on that. I better find some space for the upright piano. Oh, that's nice. And the chair to go with it. Oh, I do like that set. Yep, yeah, I've definitely got to find somewhere for that. So that's all the light collection, and I'm very happy with that. And it'll be interesting to see how their shadow counterparts look. So I've made my way up onto the roof where there's a bit more space and less nosy Fenixes to get in the way. So here's the first piece, the armchair. Ooh, very creepy. Kind of reminds me of one of DRD's gachas from a while back. I can't quite remember the name of it, but something like the Haunted Mansion, something like that. I did quite a few photos with that stuff since I do love the spooky and creepy side of things. So here we have the clock shelf. You can almost smell the dry rotten dust on them. Awesome. Coffee table. Very cool. I love it. Next is the doll cabinet as opposed to the china cabinet. Oh, that's creepy as hell. Move it back a little. There we go. Very Silent Hill-like. Now that is what nightmares are made from. I love it! Here's the dark lamp. Looking old, worn and dirty. And the piano, let's have a look.
Oh, damn, that's seen better days. Now this set would certainly do any haunted house or Halloween display proud. And the chair to go with it. Looks fantastic. But I'm not sure I dare sit on it. That's got tetanus written all over it. And finally we have the couch. And I do like that. Well, that's the whole collection, and I'm certainly going to have to find space for a lot of these items. Or I might just wait until the collection is complete, and see how the buildings look. Let's be honest here, we know they're going to look amazing. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're interested, links to the website as well as DRD's main store, where you can buy this set, or subscribe to next month's collection. And until next time, bye bye